How narcissistic is one to put a memory pendant on their neck with their face on it? Very. Show my motherfucking music so we can talk about memory pendants and what things you may or may not do or if you even like them. I'm kind of a big deal. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to you to the B to the A. I mean, how extra do you have to be to put a memory pendant of your face around your neck with a chain that's named after you with the brand that you collaborate with? Very, and that is me, I'm extra, I just don't give a fuck about anything. I know very little about memory pendants. The rumor has it that Meek Mill was one of the first people to rock it publicly and it started snowballing into an effect that everybody wanted a memory pendant. And I think memory pendants are kind of fucking cool. In the space that, you know, you're remembering a loved one, you're wearing your child, someone has passed and you just want to keep a piece of them, so to speak. So you can get something like a nice, sweet memory pendant or just get one with my face on it and we'll inscribe my name in the back and you'll be a lifelong friend. But I think memory pendants are very cool and they have so many options of memory pendants with or without diamonds, all these elaborate designs. I've seen shit with wings on it that's fucking asinine. But I happen to borrow a few of them just to give you an idea of different sizes of a very clean, traditional style memory pendant that you can either do some kind of picture insert like this. Clearly this one has diamond rounds all over it. You can put this little insert, you can do a little you could do a little inscription in the back. And here is what this memory pendant looks like without any inscription. You can do laser etching in the back. If the place is talented enough, they can do some wild elaborate designs and shit here. All laser capabilities. I mean, it's pretty much fucking endless. But this particular piece is 14 karat gold, 1.75 inches, 0.81 carats. So for like an extra 100 bucks or something like that, you can either get the laser inscription or you can do some sort of insert piece like this one. Now all these pendants are 14 karat gold with diamonds around them. Let's hit them with the diamond tester. These shits are small. Boom, diamond tester certified. And they come in various sizes. You can get something this size. I mean, which even doesn't look plain horrible. Like if they polish this center a little bit more so you can actually see somebody's face through it, I don't know. Or you can get a smaller variation like this one. So there's different size variations that you can get in memory pendants. And again, they get way more elaborate. So instead of getting something like this, which I have on the Ice Link or what they call Guano Link over at Daniel Jewelry Inc., you can get a small one like this and hopefully you got a great accountant, small business LLC and write this off as marketing. So someone like me can absolutely walk around with pendants of themselves. So there's different varieties, different options. I mean, the possibilities are almost endless of what you can do with these memory pendants, but I think they're a very nice accessory piece, not heavy, has a flash appeal. You can make it a significant piece or you can do some asshole shit like I did. I'm gonna give you some up close shots just so you can see the different varieties of sizes in these particular round pendants. And you guys let me know if this is something that you're into. Do you want to see more elaborate memory pendants with some real gaudy shit all over it? Or if a pendant was something that you were looking for, you can hit up my people over at Danny Jewelry Inc. and see if that option is right for you. Check out these close-ups. I mean, there isn't really much I can say about memory pendants. I wanted to get my hands on some just to see how they look, feel, and how they wear on neck. And I think it's actually a very beautiful accessory. It has versatility to do clearly whatever the fuck you want. And you guys can check it out, give them a call, and get your own memory pendant. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is biggest in the game? Smooches. Chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Damn. It's 
long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.